Good morning. I would like to uh, update you guys on uh, my pl buying plan um, for this, uh, well, um, shall we call it a bear market or a bull market? I'm not sure. But um, I changed some parameters that I do want to share with you because it can make a big difference in the future. Uh, so I'm planning to go to a majority exposure of 60%, but not at an undervaluation of... In my yesterday's video, I had an undervaluation that was higher, uh, leading me to buy Bitcoin Cash at 200, for example. Uh, planning to do that. I've been talking about this a lot, but um, I, I changed it and it ends up being... I, I'm planning to buy back at a higher price. Um, why? Well, just trying to follow my system better. And my system is that I plan to go to a majority exposure if you would reach 35% undervaluation. And we have reached that, um, but then I made some mistakes. Uh, and as a consequence, I am not at the majority exposure anymore, even though I should be. Um, and so I have to correct that mistake. And the question is, at what price do I try to do that? Well, I, I, I think I should not try to aim lower, uh, even though I think odds are very high. We will see an undervaluation again of actually minus 60%, even if the bull market has started. Although most likely that will only be in one year and a half at the end of the sideways movement. I do, uh, 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 I cannot wait for that um, because, mm, well, because that's not as probable as that we reach a minus 35% again, which is very, very likely. Um, uh, today, reaching minus 35% under evaluation uh, means that uh, we're around 260 a billion uh, trend line, uh, let's say, but we can never reach it, of course, in the next few days. Corrections do take time, but at best, we could reach it in two weeks or so if we get a correction from here. And we would then uh, go to, uh, at that time, we would go, the trend line would go up uh, a little bit more to 270 billion. You deduct 35%. And so the market cap would be around 176 billion where I buy and I estimate prices to be around this for Bitcoin BTC 5,500, Ethereum 170, and Bitcoin Cash 270. So these are like the prices that I plan to go to a majority exposure. Um, and um, this will change over time. I like uh, the longer it takes for this correction to happen, the higher the trend line will become in the meantime and so the higher this uh, market cap will become and so the higher these prices will become where i plan to go to a, a majority exposure and i do recommend others to do that too uh, just in case because it is much more important to have the majority of your buying done um if you look at the long term uh, yeah, that, that's 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 very important. Um, uh, even uh, when odds are high, we're gonna go lower. So uh, I also changed this parameter. I've been flipping between going all in or only ninety percent, uh, uh, but uh, I, I, I moved it back to ninety percent. I do believe that rationally, this is really the highest you can go when you choose to invest in something high risk like crypto or uh, yeah then 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 i mean you can only risk 90 percent of your total portfolio of your total net worth in it huh? doesn't matter how good uh, the odds are you should never go higher um uh, why because it can fail huh? there is a very very small chance but it is there that this whole industry fails huh? Uh, and, and, and if you at any point decide to go all in, you will lose your total net worth to it. Huh? So, so that's not worth it. 
Um, but it's also true in the other way around. Uh, if you have a, a bull market and things go crazy and very high, you should never decide to sell everything and go all out because there is also a small chance that it goes even a lot higher. For example, you get a hyperinflation scenario where the US dollar or the euro goes down to nothing. Uh, well, uh, um, in that case, uh, even if you went all out at any point there, you lose it all. Uh, you should have left uh, 10% in crypto, uh, even though it looked like it was valued extremely high, while well, it went a lot higher because where you diversified into, which is fiat uh, or some other investments, they can also go to zero. Huh? So, um, so, so, so it makes a lot of sense to never go beyond that. So for me, um, and, and, and yeah, I, I, I said this before also, but I really like uh, this system uh, that I've set up to buy compared to the valuation of the trend line. Uh, so, so, so my plan, which I think uh, I, I'm planning to, to, to buy here at minus 35%. I think it is very likely that we will see these prices again huh? uh, and to 60%. But I even, but, uh, but after that, even if we started the bull market, I think it's still likely, I wouldn't maybe call it very likely, though I personally think it is very likely, but let's stay modest and we'll call it likely that we will still see a minus 60% undervaluation compared to the trend line. Uh, after the sideways movement, uh, and, 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 and typically uh, that, 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 that takes this amount of time. If the bottom was indeed in December of 2018 at 3,150, then two years later, it's expected to see the maximum undervaluation. But in the meantime, uh, the trend line has gone up a lot to 655 billion. And, um, and, uh, but you deduct 60%, you're at 260 billion, which is the same as today. Today we're at 250 billion. So this, I think, is very likely still. And I plan to raise my exposure to 76, 77%. But I mean, very likely, my exposure will already have gone up to that amount uh, just by capital appreciation. So, so very likely. If we are in a bull market, this will be my last buy. Um, the same is true here. Uh, let's say we do make a new low. Uh, and, and, and have you seen the responses on my video of yesterday where, where, I, where I say that new low is most likely? Uh, I get a lot of dislikes on that video and also a lot of negative comments. That's a good sign. Uh, 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 I, I do pay attention to that. Uh, and so, um, if we, we see a new low, um, it's just based on undervaluation. At minus 80%, that is very likely to be reached then. At the end of the sideways movement, minus 70% is likely to be reached at the fiat, new fiat bottom. I plan to go, since I want to go 90% at 80% uh, undervaluation, uh, that leads me to buy at uh, uh, not uh, to raise my exposure, uh, this will be my first raise to 60%. But if you see a new bottom, this 60% will drop to maybe 40% or so once we reach these prices. And then I plan to in again increase it to 80%, doubling up again. Huh? Um, but that's only if you make a new low. Uh, and after that, uh, very likely, we'll, after sideways movement, that, that will not be like one year but three years later after the new bottom so that ends up being uh, much later uh, if you make a new bottom you can expect also sideways movement to end much later uh, uh, and um, and at that point i plan to raise it to 90 percent, but that will not be necessary because just by mere capital appreciation i will reach that uh, so this will also be my last buy so um but this can change if you go to, uh, like, for example, yes, I plan uh, to go to 60% as minus 35. Right? But even if we're in a bull market, this can go higher. Right? This can actually become, after we go to those prices, it can go to minus 50%. And at that point, uh, Bitcoin Cash, for example, collapses more from 270 to 290. But also my exposure, I want to raise it then to 70%. And the 60% that I invested, 
has dropped in the meantime to probably 50%. So I raise it from 50 to 70 and I buy more. Huh? It all depends on how deep you go into over undervaluation. So this is a very simple system. Um, and it really forces one to increase his exposure as we go lower. So that's why I think it's a very good system that, that will allow you to, 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 to really buy um, against the trend. Um, I also like to repeat why it is so likely that we will see a higher undervaluation compared to the trend line in the future, if it, even if the bull market started. Because in 2011, for example, where, where you saw the same. I mentioned this in the video of yesterday also, but it, it needs to be repeated because it's so important, because it gives confidence to wait to buy, with buying today and, and wait for a correction. Uh, and yes, it's possible you may have to buy at higher fiat prices, but it is almost impossible to miss the bull market if you follow this system. Uh, for example, uh, here in 2011, we reached minus 50% undervaluation, then we went above it and we went into overvaluation. The same happens today here because it's not up to date. Huh? Uh, market cap is 180 billion, uh, but actually we are at um, uh, 250 billion now. And so uh, uh, we're almost at the trend line is now at 260 billion. So we're like at minus, I have it here, we're at minus 4% of valuation. So we're at fair valuation right now. We're at the trend line right now. So very likely we will overshoot it. And this is the same scenario as 2011, where at the beginning of the bear market, you had uh, undervaluation of 50%, the actual fiat bottom was here. Then we went into overvaluation shortly, but then as it went like not hyperbolic just yet, it was just recovering from the previous bear market. It was slow. Huh? Not many people still yet believe in the new bull market. People are still skeptical as long as you have not breached all time high prices. Huh? And so even though you grind uh, upwards, it's rather slow and it's actually at the speed of the trend line. And so um, th that's why it's very likely, even if we are past the bull market, that we will follow only the speed of the trend line. So a, a correction is overdue, uh, even if we're in a bull market. Uh, but then we will grind up slowly, but we will still see again an undervaluation that is very likely going to be higher than 50%, just like in 2011, it went to uh, from minus 50% to minus 55% to minus 60%, something like that. Huh? Uh, but fiat prices were a lot higher. At minus 50%, fiat price was uh, $2, $3. At minus 50%, uh, half a year later, uh, uh, after a parabolic rise and a correction, fiat prices were at $10, so four times higher, but undervaluation became, became higher compared to the trend line. Instead of minus 50%, now the new high was minus 55%. And that means that uh, following this investment plan, you end up buying here, but not here. Huh? Um, uh, at least uh, in my case, I said minus 35%. Uh, as uh, uh, the target where I want to switch to a majority exposure. Well, we will reach that. If we reach that now, uh, that means these prices. Um, uh, so that's that. Yeah. And so it all depends on, on, on when will we reach that undervaluation, not will we reach it because very, very likely we will reach it. But if it's like only in one year uh, or if it's only in five years, let's say in this very, 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 uh, there's this very, very small chance that we go into overvaluation from here. Well, uh, then, I mean, and we stay in overvaluation, we never reach 35% undervaluation again. Okay, okay. That's the scenario where you end up being left behind. Uh, and, 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 and that's true. But in that case, you should, ah, the right attitude there is not to chase the market. Uh, it is to, um, like with girls, um, look for other opportunities. Huh? Um, uh, that's how it is. Um, it's the wrong uh, attitude to chase something uh, that is 
asking too much of you uh, because as with girls opportunities are always everywhere but you have to see them uh, and, and and you have to go look for them and so if one runs away don't start chasing it but look for other opportunities that puts you in a strong position and you should always do that even in existing relationships huh? uh, if the price becomes too high um, look for other opportunities instead of trying to pay a high price so uh, that's the right attitude and 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 and, and, and that will actually um, allow you uh, to possibly even keep uh, the valuable thing that you have uh, uh, by them going down in price again huh? uh, which is uh, possible uh, and actually very likely in this case So we'll have to see when this undervaluation happens. It's very likely to happen during this sideways movement that we see, like in the previous bear markets, a higher undervaluation coming back, even if fiat prices increase and, and actually coming back more than once, uh, actually twice here and here like three times, like it just stayed, uh, it just kept on increasing. It always keeps on increasing. Uh, and, and, but it is in via small booms and busts. So uh, very, very likely this will come back. And it's only a question of when and um, at what exact fiat price that will be. But very, very low chance to be left behind uh, for this bull market, uh, even if we are already past the bottom and have started the sideways movement. So I think it's very important and can be very valuable for many people that follow my work because as you wish, because most are in the same position as I am, they bought too little and are underexposed to what they wish to have. I would also like to warn for not uh, investing too much if this scenario, likely scenario happens where you have an undervaluation again and you buy more. Because right now we're all in a, in a situation or most people that they uh, are, are, are self-attacking uh, by, oh, why didn't I buy at those low prices when it was 3,000 or, or 100 Bitcoin cash or 100 Ethereum and then I've not bought since and now it's going all, only up. So there's a lot of people, probably a lot of self-attack going on or, or uh, feeling bad about the situation and pledging to buy a lot uh, when we see a correction. But you have to be careful with that uh, because... Um, uh, 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 and you don't even dare to say it anymore today, but because the odds are still very high, we see a much deeper correction and the bear market is not even over and we will see a new bottom. So um, it's really important to, to also think about that or you will be again in the same situation where, yes, you do buy on the first correction, but then it goes deeper than you expect and you stop buying and, um, and, and, and you make a new, there is a new low, and uh, you don't buy anything again because yeah, uh, you're unsure what will happen, uh, and, and 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 the mass psychology changes completely from overly bullishness right now to overly bearishness again. Uh, so so that's why this I think system is very very good, uh, and and you should set up your own system. Um, you can use many other indicators. I use the trend line, uh, but there are many other indicators you can use to judge whether um, we are overly, uh, whether it's there's a buying opportunity or not. Uh, and um, yeah, take that as a guidance. For example, uh, I really like the work of um, uh, Throw Away uh, on Twitter. Uh, and um, yeah, he makes so many great posts. This one, for example, um, he's, he's following other indicators such as the NVTS ratio. Um, um, Willy Wu takes credit for that, but actually there's a, it's someone else that invented it uh, and it also has a Twitter account. Uh, and, um, he, he, he and it's not uh, it's the correct NVT ratio because Willy Wu has uh, is now publishing an NVT ratio that's different. NVT Willy Wu calls it the NVTS, but uh, but the NVTS is the right one to look at. Uh, and uh, and what you see there um, is that 
this is another ind indicator, but that every time it shoots in the red, you have a very strong correction. And we shot in the red already here and expect this very strong correction, but now we went to an all-time high in this parameter, higher than, than what was reached in the bull market of 2013, uh, huh? when the highest point was reached. And NVT is, um, uh, is the ratio of amount of, uh, is it amount of value or amount of transactions compared to the value of the network? And for Bitcoin, this is going into crazy territories again, which means that the value goes up a lot, but not the utility, not the usage. <laughs> That's very bad. Huh? Uh, and, 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 and so price is running away from adoption. Uh, and so in the past always led to very strong corrections and very likely will lead to a very strong uh, correction again. Huh? There are other parameters that um, he is looking at. For example, um, the RSI, 14 day close, also reached not an all time high, but a high. And if you put it together with other indicators, to us, such as the MFI, which I don't know what it is, uh, and as well as the NVT. Well, all these um, only reached together highs like this uh, three times before, and that was each time at the top of a bubble. At the uh, not the absolute top, because in 2011 it was, uh, sorry, 2013 is the first bubble here. You reach the same highs for all these parameters. You do get a very strong correction, but ends up that actually we go into a new bubble pretty quickly. Huh? Uh, uh, but again, the same happens that all these parameters are uh, high there. Um, and again, you get a very strong correction. Each one actually, even though you went into a new a bubble quickly, you did get a minus 80% correction here uh, before you went into a new bubble and you get, got another 80% correction here. And when we reached again this point with where all these parameters are reaching a high, we get another 80% correction. And now we have again reached that high. This, this for me confirms my opinion that this bear market is not over because we already, already reached such extreme highs at this point. So it is already becoming very, very probable that we will see an 80% correction. And, 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 and how could that be? Huh? The, the bulls will say you're crazy. Huh? Like, how could we have an 80% correction today? Well, we can have it if the bear market is not over. We will make a new low. Huh? Yeah. 80% today, 8,200 times 0 0.2 is 1,600. That's very bad if we would reach us for Bitcoin. Huh? But in the past, this has happened. So that's why I say be careful. Uh, uh, now everybody wants to buy and correct their mistakes, but it, it, it's it's also I think personally it's still very likely we're going to make a new low, and you really need to also prepare for that. That's why I put two scenarios here. If the bull has started, yes, huh? these undervaluations very likely to hit again, but I will not invest so much anymore. I will not go to 80% or 90% of, of my go, uh, targets uh, of what I want to invest in crypto. No, I will only go to 60 and 77% if these targets are hit. So I still have like a quarter of my fiat left, of my portfolio left that won't be investing crypto. It will only be investing crypto if we indeed reach new uh, uh, lows, uh, uh, new undervaluation metrics that we have not reached because we already reached 50% here undervaluation compared to the trend line. Huh? And I expect the higher, I expect that there will be new records broken. So only then I will invest more into crypto. Huh? And so right at the point where the all time high is broken, uh, and we're at 80, uh, sorry, the, the bottom is broken and we're at 80 billion. I plan to invest a lot. Huh? Uh, a little bit below the, uh, the all-time high. I don't expect Bitcoin Cash makes a new, new low then, but Bitcoin will and Ethereum will. Huh? 
but I will buy Bitcoin cash around 100 times. When everybody is looking down, how deep will it go? I mean, if it happens, eh, there is no certainty here, but if that happens, that's my plan. Eh? And if it goes totally ballistic, totally crazy, because that's what is suggested here, eh, that we don't go to 2,600, we go, we go below 2,000. Eh? That is possible. We will have to go then to a minus 8% undervaluation. Yeah, that's really not likely in my opinion, but it is possible. That means we will see an undervaluation of minus 85% here after three years. Huh? Not That's not possible anymore. And even minus 90% is possible. Huh? So then we will, if we do this, well, actually, I, 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 I plan to go at minus 80, but that's because that's my personal estimate. Huh? That that's the top minus 80% and I will do a uh, 90% allocation. So if we do reach minus 80% undervaluation, and so we don't go to 80 billion, we go to 50 billion and we go below 2000, I will do another strong buy because I'm already 80% invested at double these prices. That means that if we go again, we could buy two or three here for Bitcoin cash and for Ethereum, then again the portfolio is cut in half these are extremely hard times huh? but my plan is then to raise to 90 percent it will be my last buy and that's also the right attitude because you never know how low it will go for sure we could indeed be failing as a, as, a, as an industry very low chance eh? but like by 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 setting also a maximum allocation that you're not willing to go over you do feel more comfortable to actually do this move because you know it will be the last one and you won't be buying more even if it goes down more huh? so so yeah i think a very very great plan and that's this is the kind of thing you need to work on today instead of following all that uh, bullish news uh, that comes out today and it only leads to a uh, poor decision making I also like to share this chart from Crypto Media. It's very good too um, on Twitter uh, because uh, it's looking at volume, which all everybody did. Uh, it's, uh, talking about the volume being weak at the at the, at the bottom, uh, and uh, and that that's why the bottom is not there. And then the price goes up, and then all these bears change their mind, and suddenly we're in a bull market. But what about their arguments made when we were at the bottom? Uh, like. It's still the same, the volume that was made at the bottom, uh, that was no uh, capitulation volume suddenly becomes like uh, an argument to be ignored. But uh, yeah, let's uh, take a look at the volume here. And volume is uh, always about BTC volume, not US dollar volume, uh, because, uh, because US dollar volume always goes up over time as the market uh, value goes up of, of Bitcoin. But 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 that doesn't allow you to compare uh, you have to compare uh, bull versus uh, bust to see how do, does the volume relate in bitcoin terms uh, and for example in, in the bubble of 2013 we see that capitulation volume was actually higher than ever before uh, yes you had strong sell-offs in the beginning with strong volume but it, it never reached the high that you had on the day of the capitulation where you reached bottom prices. Has that happened during the capitulation of um, uh, 2018 in December? Uh, no, uh, we did see strong volume uh, on the sell-offs uh, from the high in 2018, around 20K. Uh, strong red bars. But that went higher uh, than the capitulation volume that we saw on the day of the bottom of 3150 or in that neighborhood actually the day of the bottom it was not not at all there like because this strong capitulation volume you actually see on the on on the first uh, drop down here from 6000 6000 breaks and we go to like 4000 that's when you see very high volume but actually when the bottom is set uh, at 3250 when we go from about 4,000 eh, to, 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 because we were ranging there a little to 3,250. When the actual low is set, uh, there is a very low volume compared to uh, There are no, it's not, it's like, it's uh, somewhere over here, you can see. 
it's like a fourth or a fifth from what the high volumes were in the bull market. So when the high was set, uh, sorry, when the bottom was set, there was really a very low volume. That's why so many people, uh, experts, in my opinion, that do do great work, huh? uh, did 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 say that it was likely not a bottom, huh? but from there it went up. So. Uh, this is what happened and it's important because that was not the case in previous bear market for example when the low was set here we went from 1152 and a low of 150 on this day uh, uh, you had the highest volume then you have the volume of the breakout also very important you want to see a very high volume on the actual breakout that confirms that yes it's probably a breakout and you can forget about lower, lower prices um, uh, 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 we're in a new era, a new bubble has started, uh, but it is confirmed with high volume as happened in 2015. Um, you had one tr breakout that failed, you had a second breakout that failed, uh, but also look at the volume, it was low. The second breakout had a higher volume, but not nearly as high as, for example, the bubble. Uh, it was much lower than when in, at the, when the bubble happened before. So it was not spectacular volume, eh? but it was a spectacular rally. It went from 200 to $400 here eh? and then failed and, and, and correct again. But then look at the volume on this actual breakout when we indeed never see these prices again. Huh? And we go very high here. Uh, we go from, uh, we, make in the, we, we touch the bottom again of 200 $20 then, not 150 like here, but we do go to 200 or $210 uh, and then we go up to about $600 in one big rally times three. But also the volume is crazy and we make a new all-time high volume the day it goes to 600 in Bitcoin terms. And then, well, that was the breakout volume, as you can see, spectacular. Uh, and... Um, and then um, what volume did we see on this so-called breakout? You can see it right here. Does that look spectacular to you? Okay, volume overall is of course lower during this bull market than the previous one because Bitcoin prices are a lot higher. So Bitcoin volume is overall a lot lower, but does this volume come any, any close to volumes of the bubble here? No, not at all. So, so, so very likely what we're seeing here is a, a breakout comparable to not the real breakout here, but two failed breakouts where we see low volume, the first one, the second one, a higher volume, but still not nearly, no, nothing close to the uh, bull market. It's the same that's happening here. So another indicator that odds are high that this breakout will fail and we will test the bottom again. We won't reach the bottom if we, even if we, that was the actual bottom. Yes, we won't reach the bottom. That's never going to happen. But we will come close to it. And so 3,050 won't happen, but 4,000, 5,000, yes, that's very likely to still happen, even if we found the bottom. But as I mentioned many times, actually, we, might, we still have a high probability to find a new low here. So, um, and, and we make a much higher volume here. When we make a new low, we will see this candle uh, actually happen not, uh, not at the early phase of the breakdown, but actually when the bottom is reached, uh, we have a weak candle here, but we will have a candle that actually goes as high as, as the bull market uh, candles uh, of sell-offs, uh, basically five times higher than we saw on the previous bottom around 3,050. So this is the kind of volume that we might see uh, when a new bottom is set. And then, yes, then you can confirm that really the bottom was set. Huh? Also something else about uh, investment returns. I shared on my Twitter that uh, I calculated uh, that I have an average return of 33% since I started tracking. Uh, my record.
uh, and that's since 2008, the start of 2008, before the financial crisis happened, and before crypto was even invented. Huh? Um, since then, I, I, I made an average of 33%, which I am very proud of. It. It's a, an amazing performance, knowing that the best investors in the world that have a public track record uh, have 20% at most, huh? not higher. Huh? So this is a very, very good result that I'm very proud of and I did not expect to happen when I decided to really focus on this full time uh, 10 years ago um, or 15 years ago. No, 10 years ago. So, so um, and in the beginning, actually, it was very hard. Uh, I only made 5% per year and, 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 and inflation is actually 5% per year of the euro in the US dollar. So you don't make anything if you have 5% per year, you just keeping the purchasing power of your capital intact and that's it. Uh, but look at the responses, it's just unbelievable. Eh? Like I I'm very su surprised to see that. Uh, like some people just, law uh, here, that's 23X in 11 years. Yes, that's correct. That's indeed uh, uh, multiplying uh, my uh, uh, net worth or my um, um, capital, uh, my total portfolio by 23 times in 11 years. That's a, an amazing result. Huh? And then he's saying, oh, considering you're so long in, in crypto, you drive a Lambo. That's disappointing. Uh, and then I ask what his returns are. And he says he has 60x is in, in the last two years. I do a little calculation that's 700% per year. And indeed, many people in crypto have that done that with a small, that start with small amounts. A thousand or ten thousand US dollars. Uh, yes, you can if you take very high risk, eh? and usually that's combined with a, a naive mentality about the real risks in the market. But that has been rewarded greatly. I eh? just pour it all into an ICO or or some shit coins, and yes, during the bull market it will go up crazy. Eh? But admittedly, today we have gone through a bear market. So if you still have sixty x today, you've done very well, and and congrats to you. Uh, and that means you made 700% per year after the bear market has been in full force. So great performance. But is that tenable? Like, you know what that means, 700% per year? That means that even if you start from $1, after 10 years, you will have a billion dollars. Huh? That's what 700% per year does. Is that realistic to be maintained? No, not at all. Huh? Not at all. This has never happened in in humanity hum, humans history that someone made from one dollar a, a billion dollar in 10 years so this person extremely likely will see his returns go down a lot over time even if he continues to do as well as he has done in the past eh? uh, so uh, other people too uh, make such comments such as MM Crypto has a great channel. Huh? Uh, I really enjoy very much his videos uh, that he does with Da Vinci. I can highly recommend it. Huh? But also is laughing with it huh? uh, that, oh, you only did 23x. I would expect you to do 400x. Huh? Um, sorry, but um, it's something that I really notice in the crypto world is that people have really no idea how difficult and rare it is to have high returns that we've seen in crypto like crypto has had amazing returns huh? many people succeeded via passive investing to so via just capital allocation uh to 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 have a returns uh, like i not like this guy 700 percent per year but like let's say 200 percent per year on average or so 100 percent per year which is crazy huh? which will lead you to become uh, very very rich if you can Keep that up for 10 years, even if you start from $1,000 or $10,000. So uh, many people have achieved such returns and some uh, exceptional people that are extremely good investors, eh, that's certainly the case, have still such returns today after the bear market. So that's true. But but even then, it is so unlikely that we'll, they will continue to have such returns. And I think we are seeing it unfolding today <laughs> how these people will indeed learn a lesson uh, that it is indeed very hard to have such returns and to keep them up and i think the bear market continuing will take care of that because 
I'm pretty sure if we would make a new law or even if it would be around 3,000, 4,000, I share the same information. I would not get such uh, such comments huh? that mm, that's disappointing. Huh? No, no, no. Huh? But I do get them today. Huh? So these people uh, feel very good about uh, their moves in the past and, and, and probably still are doing well today. Huh? And probably have a higher exposure than my exposure of 45% in crypto. Huh? And, 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 and sitting on the roses, but uh, that actually will lead to very big and possibly are buying today altcoins eh? and believing in an altcoin rally now, but uh, that, that may lead to tremendous losses going forward uh, if this indeed proves to be a bull trap. Hmm? And we go to new lows. Uh, yeah, I mean, there needs to be done a lot of cleaning, not only in the mentality of crypto investors that I think are on average really naive about the amount of returns that are realistic to get, huh? but also if you look at the quality of the projects and their valuations, it's just ridiculous still today. Huh? Uh, projects, said this many times, that don't have any adoption, that don't even have software that works decently are worth a billion dollars. Uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, that's the situation. So, um, be careful people. Thanks for watching and have a great day.